Hello, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the curriculum that we are using for our third grade homeschool year. So thanks for watching. The homeschool program that we went through is actually a charter with our school district. So we get some funding to help cover curriculum and we have a lot of freedom in what we can choose. So we've sort of selected a, a variety of curricula that looked really interesting. I watched YouTube videos, I Googled things, I talked to the charter homeschool uh, teacher representative and got some ideas. And so I'm just gonna talk about what we have and what we're gonna try and we'll see how it goes. Um, thankfully, they reassured us that, you know, if, it, if it's not working, you can switch it up partway through the year. So you don't have to be stuck with one, um, although there are some costs associated with, with getting a different curriculum partway through, but, but it's still an option. So that was very reassuring since I have not ever really investigated any homeschool curriculum before. So our homeschool charter requires that each kid take four classes. The two of those classes, one is language arts and one is math, and then they can have two electives, which can be anything that you want that still meets some sort of educational need. So we have language arts, we have math, and the two electives that we chose are Spanish and music. Uh, I, we will cover a lot more than just language arts, math, Spanish, and music in the year, but those are the only four subjects that we'll have to produce some sort of uh, recordings and grades for. Uh, so we're free to kind of do whatever we want with the rest of the subjects that we'd like to cover. The other subjects that we're looking to cover are going to be science and art because those are things that my kid really enjoys. Uh, we'd like to touch upon some geography and history because we do know that they start getting into that a little bit more in third grade. So we want to make sure that we're covering some significant uh, events during that time. And we personally, given a lot of the things that have come up in 2020, would like to focus on cultural awareness. So we're sort of making up our own curriculum a little bit there, but we would really like to spend some time talking about other cultures and appreciating the differences that people have. So to talk about the curriculum that we have, I'd, I'd love to do, you know, a fancy unboxing type of thing, but I don't actually have any physical materials yet. Uh, the curriculum that we have received so far is uh, online based. Uh, there's a digital download one, there's one that's an online program, and I'm waiting on <laughs> other curriculum and books that I've ordered to arrive. So I'll be happy to do sort of the homeschool curriculum unboxing type video when we have that. Uh, but right now I just wanted to tell you what we're starting with because for us, school is starting right now and we're gonna keep with a, a schedule similar to the public school calendar, although we do have flexibility around that since we are through the homeschool program. Uh, for language arts, we selected Blossom and Root and we have a third grader, so we're going with the third grade full bundle. That is an integrated curriculum. It includes language arts, but it also incorporates a lot of science and nature studies. Um, a lot of arts, like hands-on type projects. And there's a little bit of uh, geography uh, kind of mixed in there. So we have, uh, we ordered that and then found out that actually we have to do the digital download, which is great um, because then we were able to get it before the first day of school because everything else is apparently, uh, they're having trouble ordering things because 
so many people signed up for homeschool at the last minute that they're behind in their ordering. So uh, through the through the homeschool charter. So anyway, we do have a language arts curriculum for the first day of school, so that's nice. Um, but it really has a science and nature focus, which uh, our third grader is super interested in science, uh, loves nature, and really wanted to be uh, a science-focused third grade year. So Blossom and Root is very nature and science focused from what I've read and what I've seen so far. And we really liked that. We want to incorporate the outdoors. We're in a beautiful area where there's a lot of um, outdoor opportunities. So we'd like to really embrace that this year while we have that opportunity. Um, for the math, we went with teaching textbooks 3.0, which is the online version. I did go with an online version for this uh, because I felt that math was something that is pretty concrete and that with you know fun games and interactive stuff, we could keep lessons pretty short and it not be too uh, confusing or boring or overwhelming um, in a digital format. Also, if we end up doing more home-based learning in the future, it's a opportunity to build some of that independence and familiarity with an online learning uh, presentation without it being so high demand. So this is the piece that is exclusively online this year and um, it looks really cool. Um, it was not very expensive, and it looks like that they have an update coming out sometime this fall, so maybe there'll be some bonus features on that, and I can kind of talk through these curricula more once we've had a chance to play around with them. For Spanish, we um, did get Rosetta Stone, uh, something my husband had wanted anyway to learn a language, <laughs> and we are using this to learn a language together as a family. So it is, uh, we'll be keeping up with our third grader and learning alongside. Uh, we are also going to incorporate other things besides just Rosetta Stone. Um, there's a lot of, you know, kid videos that are in Spanish. Um, we have access to uh, friends that speak Spanish. So it, we're using Rosetta Stone as sort of an, an introduction to the Spanish and to kind of um, make sure that we're on the right track, but we're gonna incorporate some other things as we go along. Um, and then the other elective that we selected was music. And we had already started uh, private uh, piano lessons and were able to get those approved with the homeschool charter. So we're gonna continue those. And we've spoken with the piano um, instructor and they're going to provide um, some worksheets and some more theory and some more exposure to they've done homeschool classes before so we're going to kind of develop that as we go along other curriculum um, i did order another curriculum that that is book based and should be sending um, books and papers and things like that um, it hasn't arrived yet, and there are some books that I have ordered um, to sort of supplement like science and geography. Um, the Blossom and Root uh, digital download, um, well, their whole curriculum, my understanding is it doesn't come with books, but they list the books that you can get, and we've been able to find um, all of them that we've looked for very easily either on Amazon, we had some of them here, um, or we are going to see about checking them out from the library. So uh, that one's not too book heavy that we had to like order a bunch of stuff. And yeah, we have more stuff coming and I'm gonna 
piece things together. Um, for science, uh, we basically told all of the family members as we approach uh, birthday that, you know, that we're homeschooling this year and the kids really interested in science. So, you know, send us anything sciencey. So we're starting to get, um, you know, those little science kits that they make for kids. And uh, we're going to try out some of that stuff. So this is our plan. Uh, it's not necessarily nailed down. <laughs> we're going to be kind of flexible, see what works for us. And I think that's really the key. The other thing that I would say um, that we were reassured and that felt really good um, for me from a professional's perspective too, was that homeschool doesn't have to look like school and your, your curricula doesn't have to be super textbooky, right? So they do require language arts, they do require math, but they have a lot of flexibility in the way that those are presented. And then the electives can be a lot of different things. So I think if there's a, a piece of advice for anyone that's sort of made it this far in the video um, and is looking for ideas, um, you know, think, think outside of the book, think outside of the box, uh, find kits, find things that they're interested in. Um, and, and some of those things could be more life skill based, right? Um, being able to uh, make purchases at the grocery store, that's, that's a money lesson, that's, that's math. Um, we did a lot of baking over the summer and we're going to continue to do baking and that has a ton of fractions as you're find the half cup find this um and okay well we want to make you know twice as much as the recipe calls for so we can make extra we want to make half as much because we don't need a six layer cake for only three of us here in the house so find ways that are more naturalistic that come up in your day-to-day -day anyway. Um, for maybe older learners, it's like balancing a checkbook, although how many of us really balance our checkbook, right? But hypothetically, right, you could, <laughs> you could make it a goal to balance your own checkbook and to have your middle schooler or high schooler help with that. That would be a math um, skill that I don't know that very many people have. So, you know, be creative. Um, find what works, find what's interesting, and and don't feel like you're stuck to whatever particular curriculum your school, your neighborhood school, your public school um, might be using. Uh, even with the possibility of us, you know, going back to public school next year, we were confident that the kinds of skills that they're learning in third grade are not going to be things that, you know, if we didn't spend a whole lot of time on George Washington this year, there are lots of opportunities for that to be presented again in elementary school, in middle school, in high school. So you can, you know, you can explore and you can be a little creative in what you want to cover and follow your interests and try and have some fun since this wasn't necessarily anything that uh, we were planning at the beginning of 2020. So I imagine there are probably other people that are trying to figure it out as we go along. So anyway, that's what I have for today. Uh, just some curriculum that we have chosen. I will update you when actual physical boxes of books and curriculum arrive. Um, but those are the digital ones and the digital download stuff that we were, uh, that we're starting with because school starts for us uh, this week and we're gonna try, uh, try it out and see how it goes. So I um, hope you'll come back. Uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts are. If you have any experience with any of these, curriculum. I'd love to hear about it. Um, like I said, I kind of did my own research, but you know, everything works different for different people. So hope to see you again. Thanks for tuning in.